G'day, Alistair here, and in this short video, we are going to transfer the sugar wash from this bucket down into this bucket. Although technically that's not a bucket, it's part of a still. But there'll be another video on that uh, coming shortly. And so there are lots of ways we can do this. What has happened is I have... Uh, so th th this wash is 8 kilograms of dextrose plus turbo pure made up to about 26 litres. So this is only about 18 litres or so, so we'll use fill that partially and then uh, another bucket. So what I'm going to do is I don't need to sterilise things too particularly because we're going to be using things pretty soon. So I'll start by removing the airlock and it's well done for fermenting. So uh, yeah, Turbo Pure was the yeast and I used the um, carbon with it and then the Turbo Clear with the two parts which you've probably seen from a previous video and that is all settled out. So this has had about just over 24 hours I think. So there are lots of ways we can transfer the liquid and let's rip the lid Put on top of the dehydrator. Now the first option would be just to scoop and pour it in. That's not too bad. You could uh, endeavour to just pour it. There is a tap as well on the other side. You could use that. But all of those methods do tend to uh, stir up the sediment a little bit. And we want to keep our liquid, our wash, as clear as possible. Now, I do have some um, sanitizer here. This is Stella Sand, which is basically Star Sand, as a bit of a much cheaper product. I uh, think made in Australia rather than the US, so it's much cheaper to get here in New Zealand. And what, what I am going to use to transfer is a siphoning tube. Now this siphoning tube also has a wrecking cane. And this has a little valve on the end, which allows us to start and stop the process. The other thing is there is this little clip, which I'm going to put on here. And what I'm going to do, so I could dunk this in and suck. Not the most hygienic way of doing things. What I am going to do instead is fill this with water and then siphon into this. And then once the uh, tube is cleared, I will go into the bucket. So let's go and do that. Here we are at the sink. And I'm just going to start by spraying my Star Sand clone all over the tube. So at least the outside of that is going to be sanitized and we'll give that about 30 seconds or a minute to make sure that all reacts and kills everything that's on the outside. So I think this, um, this is basically a phosphoric acid or, uh, and various other chemicals to make it work. It, uh, it, it kills, kills bacteria and yeast and all that kind of stuff. So not a good idea to drink it or inhale it. So you try not to breathe in any of the, um, any of the vapors. Okay, so that's had enough. I'm just going to run the tap. I'm going to put this in the corner and fill Okay, and that is filled enough. And we're going to go back to our so this our thing and it's got this little uh, valve on the end which so that allows the liquid to flow and then when it's pushed uh, and so when this is pointing in the um, bucket, there's a whole bunch of gravity pushing down on, well, you know, weight putting, pushing down on the um, the valve. And so that it by default locks. So anyway, let's go to our bucket of wash. So I'm just going to take this end and place that in the bucket carefully. Oh, actually in the container, my jug. So we'll get rid of the water first. And then I'm going to tuck this in here and get it close to the bottom and clip it in place oh, there we go so that is now secure and if we slide back a bit so I'm just going to start by make sure that bubble gets down to the bottom and that is now cleared so we've now just got wash in the in the siph siphoning tube and I can press that down so as, as you can see it's pressed down and then lifted up and it shuts off so it's very handy but what I'm going to do is just tuck that in there like that and that will stay open 
and I'm going to fill fill this still up to about just below this ridge ridge line here. Okay, that is about done, and you can see that's still uh, locked off. Okay, that is ready for distilling, and I am going to uh, fill up this and my so this is my five liter jug, and I've got a three liter jug as well, and that will probably do it. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be enough room. Okay, and we are just about ready to swap over. So I'm going to take that out and put that in there. And lift that out of the way so I don't knock it over. And if we have a quick look at the side of the bucket here, let's get a bit closer. We can see that we've still got a few liters left in there and let me just disconnect the camera let's come over the top and if we look inside the the wash is still really clean and you can see all the carbon sitting on the bottom and uh yeah so we'll carry on we've got a couple of centimeters we can still go i think before uh, i need to readjust the raking cane and that's kind of that's kind of at the point where we start disturbing the sediment and uh want to keep that separate so we have just reached so you can see that that is just touching the top of the water and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab something um, this looks to be about right size and I want to stick that on the exact opposite side and I'm just going to tilt this um, forward so uh, be with me in a second so I've now just tilted that forward so we can see we're now not on the level and it's because it allows us to capture a little bit more so here we are capturing our last little bit and if i see this starting to go a little bit dark picking up some carbon which i think it might be doing almost okay, it's still looking reasonably clear and i will stop there and swap to a, the last little bit. And again, let's get this out of the way. This should be about our last litre. I can see it sucking up a little bit of carbon. And there we go. And if I disconnect this again. You can see this tube is now quite dark and if I transfer any more I'm just going to get a cloudy mess and we have transferred about as much as we can without doing some serious filtering uh, which is not worth the effort for uh, what was probably a few hundred mils at most okay so that's the um, racking done I'd certainly recommend uh, getting one of these clips they uh, make it much easier to you just have to have, have to keep adjusting it. I've used pegs and all sorts of things in the past, but for the sake of a couple of dollars, that's definitely worthwhile just to hold the siphoning tube in place. And having a racking cane also well worthwhile. It, it saves a lot of spillage and hassles. So those are my recommendations, and that is our wash siphoned. So I hope you found that useful. Next step is to run this still. If we have a look inside, we can see the li liquid's pretty clear and there's the, the heating element. Uh, and yes, this is a plastic bucket. And we will discuss this in a future video. But for now, uh, that's this video over. I hope you found it useful. I will see you in the next video. So this uh, last 300 mils or so, I am just filtering through a coffee filter and you can see it going through fairly fairly readily so hopefully that'll just um, clean up that last little bit and I'll be able to reuse it uh, probably not worth the effort but I'm doing it anyway and you can probably hear Thor hello Thor